Well, welcome to the Beyond Cinema studio up here at Sundance, presented by Celebs.com. Brian, Nina, Sonia, JR. Uh, firstly, congratulations on yesterday and having the screening up here. Um, how does that feel for a fil filmmaker, especially when they know that at least one of their, you know, the focus of the film, uh, you know, one of the stars of the film hasn't yet seen it. Are you looking at, are you looking at her or are you looking at the audience? Like, what are you doing in that oh, moment? Man, I, was, I felt like the whole thing for me was a tech check, you know? Every moment I'm like, oh, is that, uh, okay, yeah, wait, it's, uh, mm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With the projection and everything else, just focusing on that, you know, I mean, uh, Obviously, you know, I was, uh, I was very hopeful that Sony was going to enjoy the film, <laughs> but I was confident. I mean, these guys were very um, enthusiastic. And, she kept squeezing me and saying yeah. things when she was sitting behind me. Yeah. Squeezing my shoulder and giggling. And yeah. I reached back and grabbed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew she liked it. Yeah. What were you saying, Sonia? What was your Just like, impression? I didn't realize it was that funny. Like, that's actually, I was just think, saying that's really funny. I didn't realize that <laughs> at the time and, and how, like, sad he is. <laughs> Sad it is that he is like that. <laughs> and You're talking about in the movie, though. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> not you, not him, Ryan. But I mean, your character, you know. Yes, yes. And yeah, just the, the moments I forgot about, you know. Yeah, for you, I mean, Charlie is off, you know, having adventures. She likes to call it. Mm -hmm. What's her motivation for that? Is that like for you, you know, for you for that character? What was? Um, well, I think that. She's about finding herself, you know, and about um, not really having any boundaries and about sort of uh, interested in meeting people and, and exploring and experiencing. And when she meets him, it, she kind of like comes to a wall and, and it kind of makes her grow, you know. She sees mm -hmm. something in him and which makes her want to want to get better with herself. Yeah, I mean, the photography that Charlie shoots during the movie and shows um, Brian's character, is that yours? Is that your? Is that your? Uh, it is, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. So, in terms of, you know, I guess imposing yourself on these characters in little bits and pieces, yeah, who, who received more of it? Which uh, character? That's a good I mean, question. Hon honestly, I feel like, you know, the way I needed to approach it was I had to give pieces of myself to all the characters because I needed to make sure that everyone you know all the characters in the film need to feel three-dimensional they need the, it's a character piece and so there can't be a flat character you know it can't it can't have a weak link in, the, in that sense and so you know um, obviously gave parts of myself to Charlie and, and Henry but I even gave parts of myself to you know characters like the John you know Brian who, who comes thinking he's going to have a liaison with Charlie. Just because, he, you know, I feel like that's the, it was the only way to approach it and not be judgmental of the characters, is right. to feel empathy um, for them. Yeah. There's, uh, Nina and I were talking a little before, and I thought that you guys were all mates hanging out in Silver Lake somewhere or something. <laughs> and, you know, and you're, you know, making, you know, doing your photography and all your different artistic, you know, expressions. And you guys were like, yeah, let's just, let's do this. I got this idea, let's, let's get together. But she said like, you know, she didn't know you before. Yeah. So did you know any of these guys before? Did you know? No, I feel like Brian and I should have known each other. I feel like we had enough people in common yeah. and he's like, you know, mainstay in the LA independent film community. Yeah. Um, so I feel like that we should have we should have known. Um, yeah, but everything else was, um, you know, through our really wonderful casting director Lisa Roth. So um, who was first? Who was first, Nina? Nina, when when I met with Lisa for the first time, and uh, you know she was agreeing to come on board the project, um, she actually showed me Nina's reel, you know, as a possibility for Beth. And that was like instantly like, oh yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's also funny because you get to, you introduce each character almost separately. So we get to kind of go, okay, this, and not knowing where the film's going to go, you're like, oh, this is Nina's story. You know, then it's like, oh, it's, you know, it's Brian or Henry's story. Then it's like, obviously Charlie, you know, it's, and so it's a really, like you said, in terms of a character study, it feels like you're being introduced to family members in that sense. Mm -hmm. Um, which, you know, I've talked to a couple of people, it reminded me a little bit of Sex, Lies and Videotape in a way, 
Um, it was reminiscent as well in terms of the voyeuristic aspects of the lives of others. I just felt like it was really cool. Well, did you have specific references in mind? I did. I mean, for me, you know, I, I mean, obviously I love Sex, Lives, and Videotape, um, and there are a number of films um, kind of in that vein, but I wanted to stay away from them when I was writing and um, so that I didn't feel the anxiety of influence in that way. The films that I was kind of more uh, focusing on and studying so much were films like, you know, The Conversation, um, for obvious reasons. Um, also, thinking about uh, Vinterberg's The Celebration from the stylistic uh, standpoint. Um, you know, so I was thinking in, in those terms, uh, you know, another that I had, had uh, Nina and Brian watch, uh, The Darden Brothers, The Sun. You know, and with The Sun, maybe it's not so obvious, but thinking about in that film that you're, see, you're following the character but not seeing what the character sees and so there's a sense of a thriller without it being a thriller because there's what with you know the filmmakers withholding information um, and so that was definitely something that was on my mind thinking about things like that. And in terms of location for shooting was it just a case that it was easier to keep things in and around the places you knew? Yeah I mean it was really about I mean I was sort of auditioning locations before I was auditioning my cast, you know, thinking about, because I was writing very specifically to places that I knew I could get access to, places that I felt fit the characters and could help me build the characters' lives because of thinking about where they live, you know, mm -hmm. what, where they go, um, you know, because we all have places that we love and we obviously all dress our own rooms and so thinking about those things helped me envision more of the character. Nina, in terms of, you know, when you were just having your photo taken, you said, like, the way you handle it is by kind of acting out or breaking oh, out yeah. or just going for it, as Scott calls it. But um, like so that. when you're watching yourself on screen, is it a, do you have a, do you have a reservation about that as well? Or is it a different? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. This film, when I'm watching it, we were talking about this last night, like, I'm very clear that that's not who I am. <laughs> like, but... <laughs> I still am like reacting to it. It because it's so intricately emotionally orchestrated this movie from the writing to like you were saying the locations everything. I'm still responding, but I have such a connection to specifically her that I'm responding from that point of view. So that there's t yeah, then there's other things where I'm like can I, can I go back and do that one more time? <laughs> and same for you, I mean, you've been doing like five films over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. So it feels like you're just kind of getting to know yourself as an actress. Yes. And yeah. especially watching yourself. So yes. how, did, how is that for you? How's that last couple of years been in terms of... I, it's been very much a learning process, I think. You know, I, I learn every day about acting. You know, I'm sort of like, whatever it is, acting, whatever. I'm new to it, you know, and I really enjoy it. I have so much fun doing it. Did you ever get to watch your mum work? And yeah, I grew yeah. up with it. But did you, and so did you not make a decision to act until the last couple yeah, of years? Yeah, I really was a, a shy kid for a long time. I, I was deathly afraid of being in front of people. And, and I think that's what, what drove me to want to do it, is being in front of people and expressing myself. and. Um, and now it's kind of the opposite. Brian, also having directed projects, especially over the last couple of years as well, like, is it weird watching another director work? Or, like, do you, have you got, like, you know, two sides of it? Are you able to switch off directing brain? It's, yeah, and I love being able to switch it off. It's, it was fun to, like, not have to worry about any of the other stuff, but just my performance, which uh, in the last few years, it's, that hasn't been the case, so. You know, yeah, it was it was it was great. It you made it super easy. I never felt like I was working. Like the days even yeah. seemed like short. Like we never seemed to like work longer than six hours. It seemed like, and I, I never felt like I was making the damn movie. So <laughs> I was like kind of missing. I was like, we're done. We're done. Can we do more? So I guess if you don't yeah. see your mate Joey on set, you know, it's a different kind of day. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I mean, this was like the like the first film that I did in a, a long time where I actually walked in an audition and, and got it without knowing somebody, you know, like I've known, you know, that's usually how it happens for me. So that was like a, a huge victory for me, you know, and then, I mean, I, I feel like it's the best performance I've ever done in, in, a, in a film and I, bl I blame him for it. I really do. That's great. Yeah. Well, congratulations on having the film show at Slam Dance yeah, and uh, really great effort. Really cool.